What's up everybody? This is your girl Pisces Empress 555 coming at you today with another reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, we are going to take a look into your energy bonus reading for November. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new readings as I post them. Also, leave me a comment in the comment section to let me know how and if the reading resonates with you. Thank you, thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate all the love and support. Thank you for tuning in to the live readings. I really appreciate it. You guys and ladies, ladies and gentlemen know um, how much I appreciate it. Very humble, very blessed, okay? Let's get into it. Take a look and see what's there. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Pisces? Bonus reading for November. Look at that. <laughs> okay, Pisces, are you coming out of an energy of feeling like you were not balanced? Feeling like you couldn't maintain abundance at some point? Feeling stronger? That abundance that you couldn't maintain, are you seeing it coming to fruition now? I think you're feeling pretty elevated in your purpose. Let's take a look. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Pisces? Walking away from things that don't serve you, don't value you. Yeah, coming out of that hermit mode, Virgo energy. Did a lot of introspection in there, right? Ooh, could this have been a love situation that you came out of that put you in that um, hermit energy? Let's look. Pisces, over our energy, I have the Six of Cups in the reverse. You could have been dealing with the fellow Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Get in the feeling, Pisces, like I said at the beginning. There was something that left you um, a little uneasy, a little, I'm feeling emotionally, emotionally unavailable. Take it how it resonates. I think it was something that was very significant to you that you really held dear to your heart. I'm not sure what it was. I'm thinking it was a love situation because it left you very stuck, um, feeling unstable, unsteady. Maybe you felt like this person took you for granted. Let's just see if it was a love situation. Let's clarify the temperance card in a reverse spirit. Clarify the temperance card in a reverse. I think it was. We have the strength card because now, Pisces, you're stronger. I think it was, um, for a lot of you, a love situation. Could be love for self. It could have been a family situation, friends. Definitely something that you really had to choose self, okay? We have the six of wands and the upright. Aries, Leo, Sag, energy, fire, energy. Something you had to stand firm on. It was a decision that you had to make, that Leo energy there. You had to stand strong and stand firm, okay? I'm getting the feeling that was something with this strength card and the six of wands. It was something that you really had to stand firm on the decision, choosing not to think um, negatively about yourself. We have the death card. Something came to an end, Pisces. Um, I'm truly thinking it was a relationship for some of you, okay? Something that you knew was going to come to an end or you, you didn't fight the ending. Take it how it resonates. You have the ace of pentacles. I get the feeling that this is where you are at this time, Pisces. It's not that you didn't want to be this in this way with this person, but with this person, you were in the three of pentacles when you look back in the reverse. You may have tried to start building with them, but there was something that just kept it um, stagnant, made you very sad. Let's clarify the three of pentacles in the reverse. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Yeah, three of wands, Aries Leo Sag. You may have literally felt like there were things against you, even though you two may have had um, harmony at one time, but there was seemed like there was always an obstacle that came in between you being abundant with this person. I just get the feeling that um, it was their energy there that just kind of caused it not to move forward. We got the star card. Yeah, getting the feeling, Pisces, that you remain solid. Um, I think you knew that even though this situation made you happy at one time, you definitely knew you deserved better. I think that's why it's not that it didn't mean a lot to you, but you were able to let it go, let it go in a way that was going to be more efficient for you. We have the eight of swords. Yeah. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, walking away from things that don't serve you, things that don't value you, um, knowing when to go into battle or go, knowing when to fight for things. I get the feeling, Pisces, that you just got to a place where you were like, I'm not fighting for this. I'm not going to do this anymore, okay? With the lover's card, I get the feeling it was a love situation. Like I said, you could still love this person. You could still think very highly of them. But the disappointment and the disregard, it just led you to a different place. 
okay you have the hermit card in the reverse yeah definitely something you went into introspection about this is how you gain that strength let's clarify that hermit card in the reverse beautiful energy though i just think you just you're wiser we have the princess of wands in the reverse aries leo sag energy yeah definitely something that you felt in your spirit that you needed to um do something different with it you didn't even i get the feeling that you weren't even defensive anymore i don't think you really wanted to be defensive or try to defend the situation because you could see that it, this person wasn't really listening to you all right i saw the magician card while i was shuffling are you feeling like you're manifesting more without this person all right let's clarify that princess of wands in the reverse give me one second yes the chariot card you felt like you couldn't move you felt like you couldn't move forward with this person with the chariot card in the reverse pisces cancer energy could have dealt with the cancer for some reason you felt like you couldn't move forward um just getting the feeling that this was the stagnancy was coming from this person let's see why spirit why were they so stagnant and moving forward or what kept it from moving forward the eight of cups some sort of unfulfillment there i think there was some happiness but it was something that was causing this unfulfillment let's see if we can see what was causing this unfulfillment ace of swords aquarius libra gemini was it because you stood firm pisces and your core values and standards or something like that um, did you not allow your standards to be compromised by this person? Yeah, we got the devil card. They may have tried to really do some things that you felt were deceptive. This is Capricorn energy. The devil card isn't always bad, okay? If they were adamant about making a change, you know, that could be because they're tempted to make a change with the devil card. But I get the feeling, Pisces, that this person may have been tempted to just kind of not really um, hold, like, I put this like this not really take accountability for their actions maybe tempted to withhold things from you that you felt like you really couldn't um you probably felt like you couldn't even trust them and that's what caused you to kind of steal away we got the five of swords aquarius libra gemini yeah you sometimes felt a little defeated but you didn't try to fight it. I think you really tried to um, admit wrongs. You admit your faults and you wanted this person to do the same. But I don't think they did or they wanted to. I think they tried to stand firm in what they thought was right. What caused them to be like that? Let's clarify. Spirit, what caused this person to be like this with my Pisces? King of Pentacles in the reverse. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, did they lose some type of abundance? Um, was it money? Was it just a, their emotional instability or something like that? I'm getting the feeling what caused them to act so strange was something either dealing with some type of abundance or fulfillment that they didn't get. Okay. I don't, I think it, it just seemed like it had more to do with self than you, Pisces. Yeah, because this is you right here. You're the emperor or you were Aries energy here. You were very solid and firm in what you wanted. I'm just not sure why they they just couldn't get it together. Okay. Maybe they felt um, intimidated because of your emperor status. Could they have felt intimidated? Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Ten of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Was there a lot coming in this situation where there's a lot of interference in your situation, Pisces? Just getting the feeling that there was a lot interfering that led to this ending. Yeah, but you wanted to manifest better with the magician. You tried to manifest with this person and you're manifesting now, but you definitely tried to manifest with them. I just don't know why they resisted it, okay? It was a tower card. It was an ending there with the tower card. I, I'm just getting the feeling, Pisces, it was some type of abundance this person could not attain um, for themselves, which caused them to project their insecurities onto you. Could have been something that you figured out about them and you figured out how they, you know, I think you checked their vibe or you checked their energy and you just figured out energetically that something was off. You may have called them on it 
And so, yeah, because with the hair font, you listen to your intuition. You may have had some insight from someone you trust or you just listen to the divine. But you had some type of insight, Pisces, that this person just couldn't believe you knew or, you know, you probably bought it, to, brought it to their attention, but they just didn't want to hear it or deal with it or something like that. How does this person feel about Pisces at this time, spirit? How does Pisces, I mean, how does this person feel about Pisces? We have the King of Cups in the reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I get the feeling that they're feeling emotional stability, instability without you, Pisces, okay? So, for instance, they felt happy with you, but because of whatever this was that came in between you, they didn't value it. So now they're not with you. This is how they're feeling, King of Cups in the reverse. I get the feeling that they're just kind of, looking over what they did or didn't do let's clarify that king of cups in the reverse yeah two of swords aquarius libra gemini they're, they're thinking about the choice they made pisces they're thinking about it how they um got away from the situation and why maybe they're really facing the consequences of their actions okay queen of wands in the reverse aries leo sag yeah they're seeing that being so defensive and maybe holding things back from you wasn't the best option. All right. Do they regret how they handled the situation? Spirit, do they regret how they handled the situation? Are there any regrets for how they handled the situation? Oh, goodness. Yeah. Two of Cups. Yeah, they regret some things. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here. Water sign. They regret. They regret not valuing this situation. That's what it is. They regret it. They regret not valuing you. Wow. They regret not valuing you when they had you. Yeah, Three of Swords. There was a third party situation, right? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Was there something that came in between you and another person? Another situation. Could have been just this person's behavior. Take it how it resonates, but something came in between you two. And they looking at it. They looking at it. They reminiscing on that. Mm. They're looking at it. Seeing everything for what it is. Okay, how is Pisces looking now to this past person and also to love potentials? How is Pisces looking? Wow, you are looking like the Empress. Good gosh. Pisces, on fire. You are looking like the Empress, looking like you are caring for yourself, nurturing yourself. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. You are looking like the Empress. All right, advice for my Pisces, okay? Spirit, what kind of advice do you have for Pisces? What kind of advice? Your advice, Pisces, is to be cautious with your feelings, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Prince of Cups in the reverse. Staying true to what you believe in. Don't be so quick to jump into something. But I don't think you are, Pisces. You've done a lot of work here to get into that Empress energy. So continue to think and do for self and really, really decide who deserves your energy. I think I did a post about that. You know, everyone doesn't deserve your energy, okay? So be cautious of that and protect your energy and your heart. But don't be so protective that you can't let love in. Let's clarify that Prince of Cups in a reverse. Yes. So definitely keep yourself good so that you can let this new love in. Let's clarify the Prince of Cups in a reverse. We got the hangman energy. Yeah, I don't think you're in the hangman anymore. It's in the reverse. I think you're at a standstill though, because you're still thinking about things. Yeah. So like I said, continue to guard your feelings and guard your heart. Protect yourself and know who deserves how much of your energy and take the time to really pause and see and weigh it out and see, okay, did this person really deserve the time and effort that I'm putting in? Absolutely. Yeah, because we got new love coming in, Three of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you definitely want to be ready for that. 
when that shows up, okay? Wow. Good stuff, though. Any last messages for my Pisces spirit? Last messages? Yeah, continue to guard your heart, Prince of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Guard yourself, but don't be closed off, okay? So continue to guard yourself. Do, do what it is that makes you happy. Incorporate more self-care. Meditate. Do what you need to do. And stay true. I recognize the lessons that you've learned. You're recognizing with the Ten of Wands and the Reverse Aries Leo Sag. You recognize the lessons. And this was this is this is what's in store for you, Pisces. It's just abundance, okay? Absolutely. You've come out of a ten of cups in the reverse of not feeling that fulfillment with this person. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I just think you put a lot of energy into someone that just didn't see you. Yeah, that's why you walked away. Seven of Swords, Aquarius, Super Gemini, that's why you got away from it. But this is where you are now. Ten of Pentacles. They see it. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy here. You're doing big things. You're accomplishing more. Even if it's just having that inner peace for self, it's there. All right. Let me get one more card. Absolutely. You didn't feel like you had opportunity with this person, but now you feel that way with the world card in the reverse. You didn't feel like you had opportunity, but you do. Okay. And I think you're seeing that. With the world card clarify that with the food card because you're free now to move forward you're free to think about self and really work towards something more meaningful and this person's just gonna have to see it they're gonna have to live with their choice their decision they're just gonna have to live with it all right let's pull a soul's journey card for you pisces thank you so much for staying to view this um, reading, Pisces. Okay. Soul's journey, spirit for my Pisces. Let's pull a soul's journey for my Pisces. All right, gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Yes. So be thankful, Pisces, for where you are, where you've come from, the work that you've done, because you're on a new journey. New love is coming. New opportunity is coming. If it haven't already showed up, it's coming. OK, so continue to be grateful. Stand in your truth. OK, protect your energy because you deserve more than what you obtained in this situation here. I think you know that with the gratitude card. All right. Thank you so much, my Pisces. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified of new readings. If you'd like a personal reading, please hit the description box below. Email me at intuitive.piscean.empress at gmail. Also, check, take a look at some of my other readings for November, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, or any other placement. Cross watchers are always welcome. Thank you so very much. Until next time, Pisces. Bye.